Hey, what's up? It's your girl Neek from Neek at Night, and I am recording live with Caesar, who is with an organization called Unite the People, and he gave a very powerful speech today for the Tory Lanez Impact Statement, and I just want him to speak to you guys about his, chair, his uh, foundation. Yes, yeah, sorry, his foundation. <laughs> and the role that um, Tory Lanez has played for his foundation and some of the things that he was able to um, speak to as the court. Sure. Well, what we talked about today was... Speak a little louder. Okay, Tory Lanez is on our advisory board. He's been on our advisory board for about the last five years. And so we do a lot of work in the community with the disadvantaged youth. We do a lot of work with the homeless veterans. Um, we even do toy drives for homeless kids as well as we provide affordable legal services for the disadvantaged community, right? Throughout the entire city of California. So our nonprofit has a staff of lawyers, paralegals, law students, formerly incarcerated people like me and our chief of staff here, Travio Pope. And what we do is we provide legal services for people who are who can't afford twenty, thirty thousand dollars for a lawyer. They'll come to us. We we do charge a fee, but it's a very low fee. Just basically give them the help that they need. Okay, so how did you come into contact with Tori, and how did he come involved with your organization? Well, a few years ago, we were helping out uh, one of Tori's people. If you just speak up, just a little. Okay, yeah. A, a few years ago, we were helping out one of Tori's people who seen a lot of the work that we do. Is a, a really good guy, a friend or family member of his and seen a lot of the work that we do. So then we went and he connected us with Tori and, and, and it went from there. And he just, we, as soon as he saw what we did, he started getting involved. Tori's a good guy. And honestly, he does a lot of giving back that people don't know about. So as soon as he saw what we were doing, I mean, I, our staff, we have pictures and videos of, you know, Tori in the office stuff and bags for the, for the homeless veterans or for the toy drive for the kids. So that's how he got involved and it's been ever since. Okay, so can you speak to us about this um, event that you have put on to where he came and uh, it was even before an event was to happen, an event came out of it later, but he wanted to do a good act where he wanted to pay the fees for 50 families. Can right. you speak to us about how that came about and how impactful that was for those families as well. Sure, well, what we were doing, we were actually doing the, the matter of fact, the homeless drive for the veterans. We were doing the packing, all of the items that were the hoodies and toothpaste and all of that. And I had a list on my desk of 50, it was 50 women, it was some grandmothers and some mothers who had loved ones incarcerated, they couldn't get legal help. They come to us, but if they don't have the money, we keep a list of them. So that if there is, you know, a day that we can help one, we pick one out of them. And Tori was sitting at my desk uh, right when we got done working. He was playing around and picked up the list and asked me what was it. And I told him, oh, that, those are grandmothers and moms who can't afford the legal fees. We keep a list of them so that someday, you know, if we can pick some, we help them. And he took the list like, man, call them in here. Don't tell none of them that what we're doing, but call all of them down here that set something up and I'm gonna pay all their legal fees. So he surprised them, came out and paid the legal fees. And TMZ was there, Telemundo was there, there was a bunch of channels there. But that wasn't even like I told them, that wasn't even something he set up. I set it up because that's it's a nonprofit, right? The more you get out there, the more help you get. So, but that's, that's what happened with that. Okay, and so in there, there was a moment when you were speaking to the acts that Tori did that you kind of got a little bit choked up. Can you talk to us about what was t so touching to you in that moment? Well, in that moment, it, 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 it was really because I I know what he's going through right now. I know about all the good you've done for people doesn't even count. It doesn't matter. And in a, in a situation like this, you know, we're all praying to God that it does matter, that the judge does take a look at some of those good acts and use that in weighing out the sentence. So while I was talking to him, you know, that just resonated with me. Like he's sitting there right now, just feeling like the villain, the bad guy. I mean, everybody saw him, he, you know what I mean? So that just kind of gets to me because I, I know how it feels and I know how he feels that all that, all the good I done did. Yeah. And 
you know, whatever happened with this situation, all the good I, that he has done, there should be some accounting for that. Some balancing act. Right. So that's what it is. That that kind of gets me. So that's what oh, that okay. is. And then um, lastly, and then I'll ask you a couple questions, I guess, um, too. You said that it affects your nonprofit going forward. How will you guys be impacted if he's uh, sentenced with your, your nonprofit organization? With the work and, and the donations that he gives, without that, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. We do a lot of work. If you ever go on our website, check us out. We do a lot of work with little kids. We do a lot of work with homeless. We do a lot. And the funding that we get, the majority of it comes from him. Oh, okay. So without that, that's funding that's going to take away from the disadvantaged youth, from the mentoring programs we do with the city. It's going to take away from a lot. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Caesar. I didn't get, what was your name? It's Travia Pope. He's Travia. the chief of staff. Oh, okay, at so um, is there anything that you wanted to add in addition to um, what Caesar has to well, I believe he, he covered everything well. You know, he spoke very well. You know, you just hope that, you know, we all believe in justice, but we just also hope that there's a lot of mercy sprinkled in there as well. And as long as there's some mercy with the justice, then I'm okay with that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for speaking to us. Um, I'm going to listen to the sound later if it